called control cars or cab cars. In the UK, they're often called driving van trailer or DVT cars, and you will likely come across other names for them too. The name cab cart will be used for the rest of this module to keep it simple. Cab cars are essentially a passenger coach with a driving cab in them, but most importantly, they have no means of propulsion themselves. There are no engines or motors, so they can't move under their own power. The way that a cab car works is it will remotely control a locomotive at the other end of the train, and this is where it's important to understand their behavior as being a little different to the cab experience of the locomotive itself. There may be a little lag in control response, and you may not quite have the same instrument outputs as you do in the locomotive itself. For this module, you'll be taking this German Doppelstock cab car, which has a BR146.2 locomotive at the other end, setting it up and then driving it forwards to a marker at the other end of the yard area. Revisit this module a couple of times to try different things out and get familiar with the subtle difference when driving from the cab car. One of the biggest and most obvious differences when driving from the cab car is it does a lot less sound. Since all the motors and fans are at the other end of the train, it can be a little disconcerting at first. Engage the brake system by turning this key. Put the reverser in forwards. Turn on the headlights and set the signal light. Ensure the doors are closed. Release the brakes and apply some power to get moving. It feels a little odd at first. All the audio cues you're used to in the cab aren't present here, so you just need to give the locomotive time to react to your commands. Experiment with some power and some brakes and see how the train reacts. You may find some sharp jolts happening because of how the slack is being bunched up or stretched out by the loco at the back. You can minimize this by making your first power or brake applications lighter and then increasing them. You'll get used to this with practice and experience. Cut the power and coast the rest of the way.
This is far enough. Bring the train to a stop now by applying the train brake. This is just a brief introduction to cab cars. The changing ends for cab cars training module goes into more depth about both the cab car and the BR146.2 locomotive on the other end of the train. That concludes this module. If you wish to replay it, you can come back to it at any time via the training center. In this training module, you'll practice going between the BR146.2 locomotive at one end of the train and the cab car at the other. All the junctions are being taken care of for you by another team member, allowing you to focus on driving. You're starting here in a siding near the main loop. Get started by climbing in. Insert the reverser handle and set the reverser to forward. Set the headlights to bright and on the back wheel set the signal lights to headlights. Release the brakes and apply power to get moving towards the marker. Stop anywhere here by applying the brakes. It's time to get the locomotive cab shut down. Move the train brake handle to the full service position. Set the reverser to off and remove the reverser handle. That will deactivate the cab.
On the back wall, change the signal lights to tail lights so that the locomotive shows red lights now that it's at the rear of the train. With the cab shut down, you can move to the other end of the train. Exit the cab and walk along the side of the train to the cab car. Don't forget to close the door before you leave. Open a passenger door on the cab car to get in and make your way to the cab and sit in the driver's seat. You now need to get this cab set up. Start by turning the brake key to activate the brakes. Insert the reverser handle and set the reverser to forward. Set the headlights to high beams and on the back wall set the signal lights to headlights. Check if there are any doors open and if so, close them. good to go. Release the brakes, apply the power and take the train out. You're headed out onto the main line and will be stopping at the main station on the loop.
that concludes this module. If you wish to replay it, you can come back to it at any time via the training center. In this training module, you're going to learn how the German AFB cruise control system works. Many German trains use this type of cruise control and much of the fundamentals you learn here will apply to other trains that have some equivalent form of cruise control. It's important to note that there are fundamentally two types of cruise control. One is an active system like AFB which will manage your speed positively using throttle and brake as needed. The other is a speed set system which is useful for setting a maximum speed. Speed set could usually maintain your speed but can't reduce it as easily as a system like AFB. For this exercise you'll be doing two laps of the main loop here at the training center. The first time around you'll be learning how to set up AFB and use it from standstill. The second time you'll learn how to enable AFB while your train is already running. Set up the train, but don't start moving yet. Störung. Störung. Turn the AFB system on. AFB, AFB, AFB. You can now set the target cruise speed using the AFB lever. Set it to 40 km per hour for now. Release the brakes and apply power. As the train accelerates, you can apply more power as needed. The train has reached its cruise target and has cut power. It will now manage the speed as needed automatically. You can leave the power handle with the power applied, and this grants the amount of power available for AFB to use.
the AFB lever to 80 kilometers per hour and watch the train accelerate to the new target. Decrease the AFB lever back to 40 km per hour and see the train will manage itself back to 40 km per hour. Coming back to the platform, so set the throttle to off and get on the brakes as needed to come to a stop somewhere in the station. RFB, RFB, RFB.
Getting AFB running while stationary is quite straightforward, but sometimes you may want to activate it while you're on the move without having to stop. Set the AFB lever to off and turn the AFB switch to off so that we can try that exercise next. how even though the cruise control is set to 80 km per hour still and power is applied, it's still not accelerating. This is because the brake application caused a throttle lockout. To reset it, you need to put the power back to off and then reapply it.
AFB, AFB, AFB. It is important to remember that a cruise control system like this is no substitute for the driver paying attention and remaining responsible for the train. Cruise control systems also cannot be relied upon to slow the train at an appropriate rate when approaching red signals or speed reductions, so you should be ready to use your brakes as needed. That concludes this module. If you wish to replay, you can come back to it at any time via the training center.